Since our last update, the temperature of Crater Lake to Waiamoe has been static, but now the temperature has begun rising and is now 41 degrees. We continue to measure higher than normal volcanic gas emissions above the volcano, primarily sulfur dioxide, and volcanic tremor remains strong. We continue to look for significant changes in activity, in particular the lake temperature, volcanic gas output, volcanic tremor, discrete earthquakes, and deformation, or the changing shape of the volcano. On the 3rd of May, we observed a small steam plume above Crater Lake for about 45 minutes. Atmospheric conditions at the time were favourable for a steam plume to form. Warm air was rising through cold air, but further monitoring analysis indicates that a short period of increased gas output may have occurred. This unrest period is the strongest and longest that we've seen over the last two decades. And because of this, the chances of an eruption have increased over the last two months. If an eruption were to occur, it would likely impact the Crater Basin and the Summit Plateau, and may cause volcanic mud flows down the Whangaihu River Valley. This would be similar to the September 2007 eruption. It is possible that this eruption may be followed by further eruptions including the potential for a larger eruption. This would be similar to the 1995 to 1996 eruptive episode that caused widespread impacts from volcanic ash fall. At this stage, we consider a large eruption to be an unlikely scenario. The volcanic alert level at Ruapehu remains at level two, reflecting the heightened unrest at the volcano. The continued level of unrest still indicates that magma is driving this activity. It's important to remember that Ruapehu is an active volcano and it can erupt at any time with little or no warning. Visit NEMA's Get Ready website for information on getting prepared for volcanic activity. The Department of Conservation has an exclusion zone in place around Ruapehu summit. For more information on the current exclusion zone, visit their website. We will continue to provide updates and volcanic activity bulletins and we'll provide that on our GNET website.